Of course, the abduction sparked a massive outcry around the world, including right here in Washington, D.C. As CCTV's Jim Spellman reports, the nightmare in Nigeria has drawn attention on the streets and on social media. On social media and at rallies like this one in Washington, D.C., activists say they won't stop pressuring the Nigerian government and the international community until the girls are released. Education is a human rights issue, and so is the right for everyone, boys and girls alike. It's amazing to see the world come together, especially through social media. I've seen it start, I've seen all the hashtags, and I'm always just so inspired by the fact that people are coming together. People who didn't never even heard of Boko Haram are now out here protesting today. Bring back our girls! Bring back our girls! This uh, is a, a government in, in Abuja that had not done anything until there were marches and demonstrations because people were so frustrated and angry that nothing had been done. And I think that's been the turning point in mobilizing the response. So this kind of solidarity isn't just about sending hope. It's basically about putting the Nigerian government under the spotlight. They say home is where we belong. These girls, are, they're not home. So where they are right now, they don't belong there. They need to come back home. The activists here know that it'll take more than just a social media campaign or some rallies to bring these girls back and defeat Boko Haram, but they say they're ready to continue doing their part, even if it takes months or years. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.